we are living in a time where newspapers are going through an immense evolution. So we sat down with the general manager of the LA Times Media Group so he could talk to us about the ever-changing landscape of media. Take a look. Roaldo Moran is the publisher and GM of the LA Times in Espanol and OI Los Angeles and San Diego OI. He was named to this position in 2008 and has been charged with addressing the needs of the ever-growing and ever-changing Latino community in Southern California. Thank you, Roaldo, for being with us today. Well, thank you for having me. I have seen, as we all have seen, print media change so drastically, and the LA Times is a, has a big Latino community. So how does the LA Times address this community and the changing community? Well, first of all, the newspaper industry, right? It is mm -hmm. a, yeah, it's a challenging one, and media overall is, is challenging today. Uh, but the one thing that we keep uh, core and we keep true to ourselves is the information. That's what the business that we're in, mm -hmm. uh, above and all. So paper is just one form, one vehicle. So as Latinos have uh, progressed through acculturation, uh, we have come along with them. That's the reason why you see the OI product, which is all in Spanish, and that's local-centric content, just for those Latinos that speak Spanish only, do not care for bilingual or any of that, that sort of, 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 of uh, acculturation. And then you have the LA Times in Español. That's when LA Times in Español comes in. That's for the more sophisticated, more bilingual, if you will, and bilingual uh, breaks down in different segments, right? There's some that are barely getting into uh, socializing and speaking a little bit of English, and then you have the ones that are fully capable of, of managing the language, but they still prefer their content in Spanish. What do you find is a way to reach them? Because I know nowadays we're talking yeah. about the printed word. Yeah. Um, people are going more online. How do you reach them, and how do you <laughs> outreach to the community? It has become more complicated, mm -hmm. only because there are different sources where you can now provide information mm -hmm. to, to people. And so you have to adapt. Once again, our, our core uh, function is to create content, and we create good, credible content. Now, we find vehicles and all the vehicles who distribute that content. And so we adjust. So cell phone, for instance, today, is a big vehicle right, right. for Latinos. Mm -hmm. So we have to adapt. We got to create short video. We have to be, make sure that we give them a good platform that they can uh, enjoy and use on mobile. We have uh, social media, so we mm -hmm. have to adapt to that. So we have to use influencers. We have to do whatever it takes to get that information in the hands of the Latino community. And our core purpose is to make sure that they get this information, but more importantly, that they act upon it. So we have to somehow um, uh, make them get involved, and not only with politics and voting, which is big, I get it, oh, yes. but with other issues, yes, homelessness exactly. and so on and so forth, right? And yes. you also outreach in person. You do events. We do events. And we'll support a lot of events. So, uh -huh. so uh, we did that event, yes. obviously. Uh, with Latina Fest. Yes, ma'am. And so the importance of that is the supporting portion of it. We mm -hmm. get it. You women are on your way. You are the future. And so, and there's nothing we can do to help you, but we can support you. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we're about. We're gonna support those movements and the causes. And that's what we're there to do. And inform along the way. Yes, and that's, that's wonderful because yeah. when you support events, if they're business related, you're support, supporting women that are in business and men as well. But right now we all know that the women are really like number one entrepreneurs, Latinas. And exciting. so it's very exciting. Yes. And what about bringing in the younger crowd? How do you how do you do that? The hey, millennials. We, <laughs> that is such a as we could do a whole uh, show on, on that as far as I'm concerned. But, you know, by default, uh, LA Times in Espanol is younger. Latinos were right. younger to, to begin with, right. if you look at the data. Uh, but certainly with LA Times in Espanol, by default, you get the young uh, Latino that is in that transition. And they're in, in the ones that are on the phone, yes? They're the ones that are on the phone. But, I, I, you know, interestingly enough and some, somewhat disappointing is that, you know, they're not accustomed uh, in consuming long-form content, so they mm -hmm. want everything abbreviated, mm -hmm. short version, and that, mm -hmm. that bothers me. Mm -hmm. That bothers me. It's the times. It, it is the times, <laughs> and, but that we have to somehow figure out how to get ahead of that, because long term, that's not good for our kids. It's, you know, they're not, not, not reading, it's not. But we're glad that you're yes. there informing 
affects every single uh, generation of yes. Latinos. And you've been around forever. We've been a fan of the LA Times, and now that that is also a home for the people that want to read the, the Spanish and news in Spanish. D so right. it's wonderful. Thank you for coming. Uh, how how are you, can people get a subscription? How can people it, uh, get online? It's free. Just go to uh, latimesinespanol.com and you'll find us. Okay. And then from there, you can figure out where to get the paper and everything else. Awesome. Thank yes. you so much no. for being here and letting Thank us you. know that you're out there and, and that you care for us. Yes, ma'am.